across uh, nations and empires and what have you, because we still have Cleopatra left to cover. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, and I'm glad we got comics for that, because, yeah, uh, yeah this is, this his, is uh, heating up. I, I, it was something I laughed at when I first was told about it yeah, and I mean, watched the cares, stupid ultimately. trailer. But it's it's seemingly becoming a hot topic now. Egypt's getting involved. Yep. Um, and now the actresses also spoke out and says, what bothers you so much about a black Cleopatra? It's not. I don't think that's the actor. director. <laughs> oh, that's the director. Well, I guess the actress Which also works. spoke out because yeah. okay. <laughs> I got that here, too. Um, so I, I don't know if that's in this story or not, but like this is yeah, starting to pick up every faster, faster. Uh, well, and, and but, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's not historically accurate and at this yeah. point by doing so. You're just making this fantasy. Cleopatra well, was a Ptolemy, which were, you know, from Macedonia, which basically makes them not black. Yeah. Well, this is what I said the other day, too, is that my problem with this, I could give a shit if it was just a movie. It's not, though. It's a documentary. And most people, when they see a documentary, believe, oh, it's real. I, I Even know? with a standard film, I would have a problem with it. I, I mentioned this last night. If this was like a Broadway play where you can be a little bit more avant-garde with stuff, I wouldn't care. But Hamilton. when you're actually dealing with history, yeah. you you start running into problems. And this is like the third major time they've done this that I'm aware of because they did it with um, Anne Boleyn. And then there was another character that was set. I don't know if it's Victorian, not Victorian, um, where you had an Asian actress playing uh, another famous person. It's like that's that's, again, not real. But again, I mean, it, 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 there, there, why is it a big deal or why does it bother people? Because you made it a factor now. You made it you made identitarianism the most important thing when you're going around casting people. Well, not, for not just that. It, it's like going and, you know, doing a story about um, a famous African leader and making him white. You know, it's like telling Shaka Zulu with a white dude to Shaka Zulu. Well, actually, today in Hollywood, they probably would make Idi Amin white. Yeah. Wow. Because you know they don't want to reveal the fact that he was, he was black, even though Forrest Whitaker did do a good job playing him in that movie. Yeah. You stop that script. You stop that right now. That's my inner Mikey. Uh, no, I like. Let's see what they got to say here about this whole stupidity. Uh, so according to the director, it's more like Cleopatra. More likely that Cleopatra looked like our actor than Elizabeth Taylor ever did. No, it's not. Uh, last... I, I will say that that, that was a, a, an amazing argument right there. Okay, El Cleopatra looked nothing like Elizabeth Taylor, and she looked nothing like the actress here either. Right. But uh, but so basically, they're like saying, but she looked slightly less nothing like our actress than she looked nothing like Elizabeth Taylor. The Taylor, and I don't know that that's accurate. Well, no, because she... I said it the other day. Um... And you guys, or at least the ones that were on the panel, seem to agree with me. Like I said, yeah. Did she look anything like Elizabeth Taylor? Fuck no. But one thing we have read about or heard about her in history was that she had striking eyes and that she knew how to use her ways to, to sway men to get what she wanted. And she was very a very political woman until that basically got her killed or whatever, basically. Yeah. So in that respect, I said, sure, did Liz Taylor look anything like she probably looked? Fuck no, but she sure did capture the essence of what basically Cleopatra was at that time. Royalty. Well, yeah. it, look, even this own this own director can't keep her brain in her head because she says, I remember as a kid seeing Elizabeth Taylor play Cleopatra. I was captivated. But even then, I felt the image was not right. Bullshit. <laughs> Cleopatra's not African. And not, only that, and not only that, even as a kid, you know what? You didn't have critical consciousness until the last 10 years. So uh, how old are you? I mean, honestly, this is just complete bullshit. Well, that, that is just bullshit coming out of her mouth. There's another argument here, and that is Hollywood of the Elizabeth Taylor era. The weight of the star right. added to the weight of the characterization so right, Cleopatra right. was a big deal so you you don't put I, I mean pick uh, some useless actress of the era you wouldn't put just some a, any actress in you put in the biggest star you exactly. have exactly 
And that's and what I meant that, by the essence. That, yeah. that is the essence. That was the essence of Hollywood. That's how Hollywood worked. That's how you matched up the uh, the the uh, um, character and their outer worldliness with the outer worldliness of this the actor that you've uh, you've hired here. You've I mean, not only is this an uninteresting probably an uninteresting recounting, but I don't even know who the actress is and nobody cares. So it's kind of like a double whammy of who, who gives a fuck. Right. And as I said the other day too, and you, and, and I said, everybody seemed to agree with me on the panel. Like if anything, she probably looked more like uh, Gal Gadot. And that's probably why they're going to do that one with her. Cause it makes more sense. Oh, absolutely. That makes more sense. Yeah. In this case though, this feels like we got a self inserted Jada Pinkett Smith as the starring role. And, and the production value Who is directed horrid. This? Um, the director is... Uh, I'm trying to find the name here. But Jada Pinkett Smith produced it. And yeah, she produced it. She okay. had been the and, real and, de facto And the director. thing is, good for her for uh, getting director the director is Tina Garari. Garari, yeah, sorry. You know, good for her for getting the cash. Good for her to getting it done. And in the end, it's just about um, whether eyeballs come to Netflix. It, there's no big deal that she made it. it no, no, There should be no uh, uh, objection to having her make the show. Who, who cares? Why? Well, who, like, I only who, care gave a shit just because they're listing it as a documentary. Yeah, who cares? Watch it or not watch it. I mean, like, Netflix put on Hancock, so <laughs> I mean, they're 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 uh, one hundred for one hundred now. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, you, you, can, you can argue about his point of view, but his point of view, at the very least, wasn't overtly political, pushing an agenda. True. This is. This yeah, is and, trying and, to rewrite history. Yeah, that's my very issue. Specifically, it. in a political yeah. way, in an ideological oh. way. And, and, and there's going to be there going to be people does no such thing. And there's going to be people who are going to believe this. Uh, in in the trailer, there is an older woman who said, uh, "You know, my grandma grandmother said, don't believe what uh, they teach you in school. Uh, Cleopatra was black." I'm going. Okay, well, she went to a very nope. bad school. <laughs> no, and that's what I said the other day. This is the equivalent of a bunch of stoners standing around and somebody going, yeah. did you know that Jesus was black, man? That's she, what it comes off as. It's like you have no nothing to really back this up at all. You're just making shit up. It's it's like the whole thing with where they're trying to say that Beethoven was black. You know, and it's just like this is a rewriting of history, and that is my issue with it. And, and granted, I know that anything when it comes to a work of fiction or entertainment is going to take historical liberties. You know, that's that's just the reality to, to tell a story. But you should be as accurate as you can. Well, she's been she is a noted a noted political contributor. She is an activist. She is, she even has it in her. her the, the director or the, the uh, actress? The direct, okay, no, well, the that she was, again, what was it that she was a contributor to? Um, she's she's contributed to uh, I Am Nazarene, uh, which was nominated for a BAFTA. She she's directed The Tunnel, uh, just a bunch of junk for uh, Channel Four. Um, but she is she's an artist, a director, screenwriter, and professor. Professor of what? See, Bullshit. And, yeah. No, no, that's... she's a professor. She professes things. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is the actress that played her in the uh, Rome television series, and. I think she uh, was probably for. I say a lot of people were saying, she yeah, a few best. people have said that this is yeah. the more accurate depiction. In my personal opinion, I think that that HBO series Rome is one of the greatest. It is series very good. Ever made, and the depiction of Cleopatra in it is probably the best depiction of Cleopatra we're ever going to get. 100%. And I forget the name of this Irish actress playing her because the actress is Irish, but she was absolutely spot on and perfect in the role. And uh, that series was by John Milius. John Milius, the same man who made Conan the Barbarian. He he was the one pulling the strings behind the scenes on that one, and he's a history buff. We need more Milius. It, it the reflects detail. in that show. Yeah, it does. So if you want the d definitive 
uh, like Cleopatra tale, it is told in HBO's Rome across. Lindsay Marshall, I guess, is... and, it, and it even it even covers basically her her seduction of first Caesar, then Mark Anthony, and then her attempted and failed seduction of um, uh, Augustus. Yeah, and that's all she wrote. Mm hmm. There you go. Yeah, if you've not seen Rome, check it out. I, I own both seasons on uh, Blu-ray. It's a fantastic series. Yeah, it's one of the greatest series ever made. As yeah, good as Ren, Ren and so Stimpy. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm so sad they canceled the show. It was it was that good. It was well, and... but, but the beauty thing is that uh, they actually knew that they were being canceled, so they had enough time to finish the series out so the right. only difference is that you basically go through 10 years in the last three episodes and of course the actress who plays cleopatra has gone full bore you know canceled on twitter so like clockwork there you go this is what i was talking about uh, yep. so basically blocking people left and right so she won't be oh, this tolerated. Is the actress who's playing Cleopatra now in Netflix. Yeah. Well, hey, the Egypt is pissed. Yeah. Uh, it should they be. They are. And again, we, we mentioned earlier, Tom, I'll send you the link here. Uh, Sai Hawass, uh, who we also referenced in the uh, Hancock video, he's basically the gatekeeper of all things Egyptology. Uh, not a great archaeologist, not a great scientist, but he is the uh, the head of the Commission for Antiquities or whatever that borat like uh, organization is uh, is called there. And even he has gone out to criticize this series right here. And it says in the uh, uh, says in the article here. I'm reading from it now. Dr. Sa'i Hawass, one of the most famous Egyptologists and the former Egyptian Minister of State of Antiquities Affairs, one, has criticized Netflix for its controversial decision to cast Cleopatra with the black actors in an upcoming docuseries. Uh, Hawass, who is Egypt's most recognizable archaeologist, decried the decision by Netflix to portray Cleopatra as being of black descent, pointing out that the historical figure was Greek. And then he says, I announced these days to the media that Cleopatra was not black. So he uh, posted on his Facebook account in response to the controversy. The film that is coming on Netflix is not accurate and gives wrong information on ancient Egypt. The famous Egyptologist continued. Cleopatra was Greek, and she was similar to the queens and princesses of Macedonia, wrote Sahi, uh, alluding to the fact that Cleopatra was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty and who ruled over Egypt between 305 BC and 30 BC. And yeah, there's um, and then he goes through a list over various uh, misrepresentations of uh, Egyptian history. But uh, according to Mr. Zahas, this uh, Hawass, this is one of the most egregious ones yet. So he's clearly not a fan of this series and of this blatant rewriting of history. And there's literally nothing to support the notion that she would be black. This is like you we even no, see. Like I said, it's pure, it's pure fantasy, fantasy at this point. Thinking. Yeah. It's like, wouldn't it be cool if? And you also see that in like the the comment from the director, like, what's wrong with you that you don't accept this? Well, it's a rewriting of history. That's why, kind of like our history, the way it happened. And again, I mean, I'm I'm not even as hung up on it as like, like I think Paul was saying, like with Hamilton, right? Like to where I don't care if it's even a play. Or maybe it was you, comics, who brought no, it up. I, yeah, I brought up Hamilton. Like, and, we all yeah, know yeah, that Braveheart care. is not historically accurate. Most people going into it know that. But it's a movie, right? I don't give a shit what somebody does in a movie, necessarily. You make a Black Cleopatra movie, guess what? I just don't have to fucking watch it. But the problem is that when you make a documentary, people see that as, like I said, as, as, as a historical account. People are going to take that as reality. Especially when you got a lot of these impressionable people who are trying to use this kind of shit 
on, on you but, know, but every day in an argument. But they didn't cast Jason Momoa as Braveheart. As Robert, <laughs> that's that's the issue. There's that too, right? Like, I mean, you we could even get deeper into the conversation that way, right? Like, but at the same time, it, it, it doesn't matter. It, even with the Woman King, I didn't give a shit about that so much as some other people. I, I did. disagree. I think history is important, and I, I think it is. Even in the but film, in a movie, it should be represented mm, as close to reality as possible. Like I said, I understand they're going to take some creative liberties with it, but you you can't go and rewrite history. Yeah, that, that's an issue. Even with Braveheart, which is a very good and enjoyable film, it should be as historically historically accurate as possible because history is important. Yeah, and also I will say on the matter of Braveheart uh, that Tom, you are right. No, everyone knows that that is like a fictionalized account, but Braveheart, as far as I'm aware, does not blatantly rewrite history it's a fictionalized version of events but insofar as we know it does retell obviously in a more spectacular fashion the gist of the events that historically occurred yeah it just leaves out the fact that william wallace is being funded by um, foreigners to, to do what he did well, yeah, there's a bunch it, of other stuff too but yeah uh, and of course this is a, like the funding aspect of going back for centuries that's left out yeah he was he was funded by soros yeah well and i say this <laughs> because like I, I you know just one of my favorite movies of the year so far pending seeing a few other things like tetris right like i know the end of the situation didn't happen that way but i'm glad the movie ends like that why because it's more dramatic and it's a lot more fun like i i don't need it to be a dud at the end i like that the head of that other company showed up and you know you've got all these people there at the same place at the same time and then they're trying yeah, to get out of the country so that's still they, fine they like they took some liberties but i get it it still doesn't it's in the ball i know it's the, the okay, I'll give you a better example. Same. Bohemian Rhapsody. I love the fucking movie, but I know that 99.9% .9 of that movie is bullshit. <laughs> like, it's and like even, even some of the so, shit they even shouldn't have lied about, they did. Yeah. And even so, the gist of it, they threw out plenty of liberties taken throughout, but the gist of it, there was a band. <laughs> yeah, there was a band Queen. called Queen that sang these songs that had a lead singer named Freddie Mercury who happened yeah. to be gay. That's about the only part of that movie that's accurate. <laughs> I, I know, I know, but still, that's the gist of it, right? Whereas for instance, right. here, I get you, I get you. It isn't even accurate. And for instance, with the Woman King, you didn't even get the gist right. I mean, that thing was pure propaganda with zero percent accuracy. It was a blatant, complete, and total rewrite. No, I get you. I it agree with you. Get the gist right, but it tried to pretend that it was like based on a true story. And this is kind of like my issue. You can take liberty when you say like, "Oh, you're inspired by a true story," but you, but even then you should remain true to the gist of it. Well, we all this know that Freddie Mercury was black, so. Yeah. Well, I, I think if you're going to do something where you drastically alter what the historical events, I you agree. need to have a massive disclaimer at the beginning saying, hey, look, this is for entertainment purposes. We've, you know, taken creative liberties with reality. Um, you know, don't look at this as being a actual uh, historical document. Yeah. Granted, I'm being a bit of a contrarian because yes, I'm is this I'm an individual who has gotten in multiple arguments over the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Oh yeah. But right. speaking of, speaking <laughs> so, of being yeah. contrarian, Culture Casino is being has a contrarian to leave. and has to leave us. But I'm just glad that you were able to, to I, show up. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. So I'm, yeah. I'm 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 grateful to have been able to stop by. I I'm glad I I did. Um, and uh, I'm not leaving because you know every all of you are wrong. But uh, I, 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 I've got, I, I, have, I have. The only thing I, that is wrong, culture, is that hat. Well, you don't like my shark hat? No. Right. Okay. Well, then I'm definitely wearing it in Vegas. Anyway, I hope you guys, have, <laughs> you guys have a great time, a great weekend, everybody. And hopefully, Take I see care, you culture. on my show in just a little while. Have a great one, guys. See you. See you. Take care. We're going to be rounding things out here before too long, anyhow. So let's, uh, let's.